added another uh, objective. Often children rights in Uganda are violated by relatives in their homesteads or strangers in the neighborhood. The common cases of child abuse include forced labor, rape, corporal punishments, children neglect, amongst others. Nurturing relationships and environments. But one million children are affected by violence every year. In an effort to address the menace, the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, in partnership with other organizations, has launched Uganda's National Policy Dialogue for Ending Violence Against Children. Members continues to work tirelessly to realize our shared vision. Of Speaking at the closure of the dialogue, Minister Beta Mongi expressed the dilemma surrounding parenting which she claims is becoming a complex matter, with many parents neglecting their responsibilities of nurturing their children. It is the home where children have been confined for the last 15 months following the shutdown of schools. Most of you employ caregivers at home. And unfortunately, those caregivers that we employ at home, either they are relatives who are called aunties, or their housemates who are called aunties. However, among the committed government in the struggle to bridge the identified gaps to help zero down violence against children. On behalf of government, to affirm that we remain the primary duty bearer of the mandate for care and protection of children. Mm. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Agri David Chibenge, called for collective effort to look after children to eliminate violence and abuse of their rights. There is no better teacher to a child than the parent. The parent has the opportunity to be the first one to communicate to the child, to transmit those values that would like the child to grow up with, to carry with him or her, into adulthood. So when we miss the opportunity to do it at that stage, by the time we delegate the responsibility to teachers in schools, by the time we delegate that responsibility to government, I think we've already lost it. The executive director of Uganda Child Rights Network, Damon Wamara, said there has been a drastic increase in children-related cases at 90% registered amidst the COVID-19 era, and they now want emphasis to be put on taking good care of children. What the COVID situation has done and has brought to us were the increasing numbers of uh, sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, um, and mental abuse that has affected the children of our country. Um, so this engagement is to help ensure that all the key stakeholders ensure that they end violence against children. I'm Ivan Juko, reporting for UBC News. And if you have